Oh, God. It's really, it's too hard. It's too hard. So old Jackie just gets the flip pass, eh? I think. What can I say? Like, not my problem. So you don't care? What should I? We've got a jumper on the Gladesville Bridge. Couldn't keep him on the line. And you're not responsible. Oh, he was going on about being part of a minority, sick of being treated like an object, and he just hung up on it. Yeah, well, if someone's dead set on doing it, not you, me, or anyone's going to make them stop. Yeah, yeah. How long, Dave? I'll do my best, detective. Body would be visible, like if there was one. Can't argue with that. One times out of ten, they'd be floating. million dollars. I can't even imagine what that'd be like. Yeah. Well, I'm glad they're going home and no longer our responsibility. Oh, it's not every day. It's Scotland Yard comes to the water place. It might be quite interesting. What's the story? Male, uh, 45 to 50, naked, no ID. Uh, no other effects were covered. Dad, it was suicide. He was waiting down in the small gas fridge. Not to say how long he's been down there. Right. Detective Inspector Hardcastle from Scotland Yard's arrived. All oh, right, the visiting dignitary. Yeah, or some bloke has been the cops too long and he's come out here to take credit for our investigation. Oh, it's not like the repatriation of five million dollars in stolen diamonds is nothing, Frank. Why do they have to be pommies? I mean, why can't they be French or South American? Why don't you just cooperate, Frank? He's received a preliminary report, but no doubt he want to talk to you both about events that led up to the, uh, to the recovery of the diamonds. Well, let's get on with it. Oh, no hurry, Frank. As a matter of fact, I thought I might take him out on a bit of a cruise on the Nemesis. Take advantage of the fact that he's here, you know. Probably talk about Olympic security, that sort of thing. Always good to have a few favours up your sleeve. You think he'd man the whole diamond operation himself? Oh, come on, Frank, how bad can it be? Probably going to be some know-it-all smart-ass. You should feel right at home, then. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, your itinerary, sir. And that's been approved by your superintendent at Scotland Yard, I believe. No chance of getting around the formalities, is there? <laughs> you seem to have done this before. Well, yeah, I have, once or twice. But as in combat, every time's like the first, eh? 
Well, no, sir. I've never been in combat. Lucky you. In the army, were you there? In the regiment, but, um, <clears throat> not something one likes to talk about. Good idea. Detective Frank Holloway, yeah. This is Senior Detective Rachel Goldstein. Detective Inspector Hardcastle from Scotland, Yard. Yeah. Call me Reg. Good to meet you. You're quite the dynamic duo. Well done. We're indebted to you. Ah, oh, you know, we try to do our best out here in the colonies. <laughs> oh, still using seat shooters. Yeah, well, the uh, service as a whole is moving over to Glocks, but for the time being, we've stuck with this old stuff. May I? Sure. There you go. Oh, yes. That takes me back. Ah, I thought your London Bobby didn't use firearms. The specialist squads do, but I was actually thinking of the odd incident before I joined the Met. Oh. And how long are you with us, Reg? Oh, you know, a um, couple of days. Oh. <laughs> I've been many odds, eh? mm, Anyway, nice to meet you. Oh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> so, yeah. Inquisitive chap, your Holloway. Oh, good beef taker, though, sir. On the subject of firearms, perhaps I could be issued with one while I'm here. God, that's unheard of. Oh, um, there are no means by which that could be achieved, sir. I'm sorry. What are you saying, never? Not normally, no. Well, never, no, yes, never. Extraordinarily English of you. <laughs> OK, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Fingerprints from the dead and have been done. Uh, I'm going through the system here and, uh... Interpol? Interpol, that's right. Uh, there's no obvious markings on the body. You know, strangulation, bruising, that sort of stuff. Oh, by the way, Jack Christie just called. What? When? Oh, just then. What, you, uh, secretary or something? Oh, with everyone ferrying the pommy bastard around, Helen's run off her feet. Oh, we, um... Want to know how you were? Mm. I said for you to give him a call. He's waiting by the phone. Yeah, I can read. Natural causes. Yeah, right. Arteriosclerosis. His ticker looked like a greasy dim sim. Yeah, but he was weighted down and thrown in the harbour. He wasn't in the water very long. Six hours at the most. He was well and truly dead before he went in. He died from a heart attack. There's not much more I can tell you, really. Uh, blood tests? You'll have to wait for those. Right, Goldstein. Yep. Hey, mate, thanks. Helen told me he said the regiment. Like there was only one of them? Must have meant SAS. Huh? When my grandfather talked about the regiment, he always meant the SAS. Yeah? I mean, because he didn't come across to me as being so tough. Ah, I never judge a book by its cover, Gavin. Hey, uh, don't look now. At ease, chaps. D.I. Hardcastle here wanted to have a jar with the lads. <laughs> oh, and the ladies. Look after him. <laughs> so. You were in the SAS, were you, sir? Falklands was a long time ago, Taylor, and uh, there are happier things to talk about. <laughs> now, dinner's on me. Emma, Taylor, actually, it's a nice spot at my hotel. Marvellous view. You know, I'd love to, but I've got to get an early night, so thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, unidentified body, unsolved investigations. Yeah, it is. Understood. Good to see such dedication. Thanks. I'll uh, catch you guys tomorrow. Please. I don't even know why I was apologising. I didn't even get an invite. Well, catch yourself lucky. Of course we're on your side. All you need to do is just keep talking to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Was that Gladesville Bridge? You got to jump the same as yesterday. No one can help me. Now, look, it would really help if you could tell us your name. I have no name. I have no life. Well, what, why do you say that? I have no life outside of my work. The careers of others, that's all I'm good for. I don't care about my feelings. If you want us to help you. Goodbye, cruel world! No, wait. Don't lose any sleep over at Tommy, it's a hoax. Can't know that for sure. Same time, same place, two days in a row. Let me deal with it. It's not the real thing. I don't think Dave can be held responsible for his actions.
much. It's not a fresh one. What? The autopsy scars give it away. Smell that? Formalin. Skin's like plastic. Cadaver. I'm sick of these bastards. What are they thinking? Not thinking anything. When we saw how well preserved he was. And that he had certain vital organs missing. We thought of you. He'd have to have come from a mortuary of a uni medical school, I'd say. Medical students. Yeah, it's just a stupid prank. Yeah, well, it's still against the law. Come on, Dave, if you charge them, they probably won't graduate. Tough titty. I don't like being made a fool of. What are you doing to him? I didn't have a choice. Rachel, lovely as always. <laughs> I know you think we British are big on formality, but as it's such a glorious day, how about filling me in on the diamond investigation over a fine Australian Chardonnay? Uh, it'll have to be dry bread and mineral water for Frank and I, I'm afraid. Yes, Helen was telling me that you were instrumental in recovering the jewellery. I look forward to hearing all the details. Well, we couldn't have done it without the information your blokes at the yard gave us. Thank you, Frank. Extremely kind of you to say so. Start her up, Captain. I'm telling you, if this is the best they've got. Yeah, give it the colonial outpost any day. <laughs> Shall I do the honors? Uh, Sykes, you get on his tail, we'll go around the other way. Down, don't make it worse for yourself. Get away from me! Just calm down and put the knife down. You shut up, you bitch! Listen, mate, just drop it. I'm telling you, you can't I win. want a boat. Give me a boat! I want to get out of here! Oh, no, I can't do that, sorry. Don't argue with me! Just go! Now, listen here, you little turd. I got a gun on you, she's got a gun on you. For you, this is a lose-lose situation. Now drop it! Just drop the knife, mate. Come on, put it shut down. Shut up! Just drop the knife! I down. told you to shut your mouth! You don't know anything! <laughs> Well done. Excellent teamwork there, don't you think? Oh, I think we'll save the Chardonnay to another day, Rich. I've had quite enough excitement. On the country. I think the celebration's in order. Up we go. Hey! Back it off. Why are you letting this bloke get to you? Come on, he's a big notary, he's a wanker. And I tell you. I don't believe one bit of his bullshit for a second. Look, how long have you been in the service? What's your point? Well, the service is full of big noters and wankers. Just water off a duck's back, that's all. Hey? Yeah. If I didn't get in your way back there, Frank. Oh, like I said, always glad of the help. Sir? Hmm. There's no fingerprint match on the deceased as yet. The French? Standard design on every boat and caravan in Australia. Anything new at all? Look, he's a completely unremarkable chap. There are no piercings, no brandings, tats, not even any birthmarks. 
So we've got an accidental death on a boat. Someone wants to get rid of the body. They... But why not report it? I mean, I don't buy it. Well, I've rung missing person, so... Good haircut. Oh. No, no, the guy on the boat, he had like a... He had like a $50 haircut. I think we should call in Inspector Hardcastle of the Yard. Mm. Well, the thieves, they must have been tipped off about us. I mean, they didn't make the pick-up as we expected, and the jewels were recovered in a safe tied to a pylon in Middle Harbour. We reckon the offenders are well and truly out of the country by now. Probably back in the UK. Hmm. Have you, um... Have you detailed all this in your report? Yep. There we go. Ah. Oh. This will make for interesting reading. Estimated worth five million dollars. That'd be a nice little retirement fund, wouldn't it? <laughs> Indeed. We've arranged a police escort for tomorrow. So about ten o'clock, 40 minutes to the airport. Non time for my 12.30 departure. Inspector Hardcastle, uh, there's a uh, phone call for you from Superintendent Breeze. He says he's been trying to get you, but I think your phone must be off. Oh, Lord, look, um, can you tell him I'll call him back? There's a good girl. I'd like a chance to read through this before I speak to him. Somewhat of a stickler's old windy. Right. Best be off. Yep. Yep. There we go. Ben. That man is really starting to get on my nerves. Helen, patience is a virtue. You just be a good girl. They split by the time we turn up, which means they're dumping their so-called victims... The night before. ...or dawn at the latest, and then they get on the phone to us. So you don't think they're trying to change their pattern? Mate, I don't think they're smart enough. And we all know education shrinks the brain, right? Mm. Play them at their own game, you mean? Yeah, good on you. Good on, Woozy. Well, she's right. We have to work together. We should be able to get along. We have to right? work together, but I, I don't think I can like you. You do that again, I'm gonna smash your teeth in. <clears throat> you like a beer or six or? Yeah. You got too much to do? No, I can wait. I feel uh, kind of sorry for these guys. I mean, I was a bit of a prankster when I was a kid. So what was your best gig? Uh, when I was nine, I, um, I threw a chocolate poly waffle into the school pool. The kids couldn't get out quick enough. <laughs> yeah, all right, you can laugh. I got severely pummeled for my troubles, thank you. Oh, I bet you were cute with a couple of black eyes. Yeah, what? Well, it'd be a bit of an improvement, you reckon? Yeah, thanks. Listen. There's three of them. Suspects approaching from the north, about 300 metres from where we're located. Yeah, copy that, Dave. Hit it, Andy. Let's go.
What's the matter, fellas? You got nothing to say? No threats, no sudden persecution complexes? So who's this then? Inspector Porker. Inspector Porker? I suppose he was just about to make a suicide call. He needs help. He's been depressed about all these hoaxes. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Sorry, chaps. Been out on business all morning. Running a bit late for my flat, as a matter of fact. No chance of taking a boat round to the hotel, is there? Might make things a bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that won't be a problem. We'll organise the car to pick you up at the wharf. Did you get that happening, Helen? Yeah, Splendid. That's great. Look, Here I want you to stand by the ferry D.I. Hard Castle to the Park Hyde. Voila. Ah, pretty beauties, aren't they? Indeed. Constable Johnson will accompany you to the gate and on safe delivery of yourself and the goods. Uh, she will hand over the paperwork, the keys and the diamonds. If I can just get you to sign there, there and there. Huh? Thanks, Helen. There we go. Can't be too careful. I appreciate your attention to detail, Jeff. <laughs> Tommy's uh, waiting for you now. Thank you. Good doing business with you. Give my regards to Holloway and Goldstein. Indeed, Reg. I'll be sorry they missed you. Helen, thank you for keeping me on track, making everything run smoothly. <laughs> Great pleasure. <laughs> right, shall we go? Yes. Oh, thank God he's going. Hmm. Yeah, Goldstein. Yeah, that's right. Appreciate it if you'd come with me, Constable. Don't want to let the items out of my sight, not, not now that I've signed for them. Oh, yeah, that'll be all right. Just don't be too long, Johnson. Good chap. Keep the meter running. After you. Helen! Has Hardcastle been in yet? Been and gone. I just got an identification on that male corpse, R.J. Hardcastle of the London Mets. Rachel, we've just given away the goods. Yeah, to a crook. What's going on? Oh, we've been con, mate. We've been con. AKG Sydney Water Police to police launch Nemesis. Is our visitor with you? The view must make the long flight worthwhile. Oh no, something must be up. Tommy's leaving the boat. I think we'd better get down there and just check. Come on! No answer. Say anything and I'll blow your head off. Got it? Johnson! Sorry, I should never let Look, it's like fine, it's fine. Uh, anything from hotel security? Not as yet. Right, why don't you stay here, interview the staff on this level, see if you can find anything relevant. Okay. Uh, you, could you come with us, please? When was the last time you saw this guy who we thought was Hyde Castle? Well, some of my staff saw him earlier come in with the young police woman, but no one's seen them leave. OK, we want to talk to those staff members, all right? Yeah, whatever we can do. Okay, don't touch anything. Uh, I can't believe it. He was, he was a very charming guest. 
Must have been a quick escape. Do you reckon he was tipped off? Oh, I don't know. Who knows who this guy is? Hey, look at this. Looks like he's dyed his hair. Ever heard of Walter Mitty? Do you have any taxi drivers that make this a regular stop? It's possible that they saw something. Well, there is a courtesy service we use. I'll get you the details if you like. That'd be great. Rachel? Yeah. Nothing. Managed to charm the pants up everybody and then bloody disappear without a trace. Right. Andrew here, he's getting a list of drivers that make this a regular gig. Could you radio that through to Helen? And this is for crime scene fingerprints. Look, uh, Tom, keep a lid on this. We don't want the media getting hold of it until I have a chance to tell Jeff, OK? I just don't believe this. It's not your fault, Jeff. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Fingerprint every VIP wanker that walks in through the door? There's still no word from the feds at the airport. Look, did our bloke know about the jewellery? How could he? Unless he knew Hardcastle. What are you suggesting here, Frank? Look, the imposter had the means to kill the real Hardcastle, infiltrate us, and walk out the door with five million bucks worth of diamonds. Obviously, it was a setup from the beginning. Helen, all he's after is the diamonds. Once he's got them, he's going to let her go. Or he'll use it to get out of the country. I suppose I should uh, ring a family and let them know what's going on. Sergeant Blankmore. They've found the cab. Yeah, where? OK, thanks. OK, the driver's had a thorough going over, but he's willing to talk. Look, don't worry. We'll find her, OK? Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean you haven't got the bloody key? It was, it was in my pocket. Was? What do you mean, was? I, I don't know what's happened. No. No, no, no. You're lying! I, I'm not lying! You better bloody not be. She's not there looking for a pig. <laughs> Tastes good, too. Out at the, at the hotel or in the cab. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. I, I could go back down. I'm a cop. It's easy. I could just, I just walk in and have a look around. <laughs> you think I'm as stupid as you are? The place will be crawling with cops by now. Get your uniform off. I just want to make sure you're not hiding in your knickers. Come on! That'll be all right. I think I'll live. OK, do you want to tell us what happened? They flagged me down just up in front of Park Hyatt. I got a bit suspicious when I saw a uniform because he was definitely in control. Where were they going? Medina Apartments, Crown Street, Surrey Hills. How'd you end up here? I was worried for the old lady. I told him to stop pushing around. He told me to drive somewhere quiet and whack it me over the head. No, that was with a gun, was it? Yeah. I took me a few more times when I was out. I'll give a stick my baby or something. Well, you've been a great help. Thanks. Any time. I hope you catch the fast. I hope the old lady's OK. Yeah, so do I. Bingo. In the corner of Medina and Crown Street, we radioed for local car crews to meet us there. Thanks. Ah. No illegal or prescribed substance in Hardcastle's blood, although he did have a high alcohol blood level. Uh, well, the question is, where did he die and was he moved? Well, Chopper found there was some lividity suggesting he was lying on his back for a while after he died. No, it doesn't give us much. Well, enough time for our Walter Mitty character to figure it out and take on Hardcastle's identity. Right. Ah! Ah! 
Back off, I'll put a bullet through her! Get back, get back, get back! Get away, Frank! Get away! Back away! All right. Back off, Sam! He can't go anywhere without the diamonds, and he can't go anywhere without Taylor. Well, he's got to keep a low profile with her and tow, but that means his options are limited. We don't know what those options are, so he's got us cold. Well, the memo's gone out to every police channel in the metro, so far there's nothing. It's a white Toyota Ute, for Christ's sake. I mean, not exactly your ideal getaway car, and we still can't locate it? Well, we can discount the theory about going to the airport. Probably dump the bloody car anyway. Listen, I've got a fingerprint match from the glass. It's Charles Arthur Simons. Not Saunders? No, no, no. Look at this. Uh, Charles Arthur Saunders, Charles Aaron Sargent, Charles Adam Spencer. Original. Got six of them. Six aliases and a string of convictions for fraud. Last known address, Cairns, Queensland. Give me five minutes to get on to the coppers up there. Listen, how is she? Oh, she's good. Uh, good, holding up. OK, right, my dad's on his way down now. I wonder if there's anything we can do to help, you know. Thanks, Jeff. I know, I know. Keep still. Shut up, stupid bitch. Don't make a fuss. And I'll think about letting you live. You're a genius, mate. You'll definitely get away with the jewels by murdering me. I don't want to have to tell you again. Get out of this! I should just cut your bloody arm off. Queensland coppers have confirmed an address for Chaz Saunders in Trinity Bay, and there's a warrant issued for him in relation to theft of a cruiser. The facts and the details through now. Excellent. Thanks, Helen. Are you blokes could identify a cruiser as well as anyone? Look, when she left Cairns, she was called the Wandering Lass. Yeah, go ahead, radio. Yeah, Sydney Water Police, your suspect's vehicle, a white Toyota utility, has been found abandoned in Spencer Street, Roseville. Copy that, we're on our way. Right. Well, he can't get far, he's dragging a policewoman through the streets. Right, get over to Middle Harbour, check out all the marinas. He's heading back to his boat. Okay, standing by for Polly. Yeah, go ahead, Sydney Water Police. Okay, look, are you in a position to help us search for a vessel? Yeah, you got a description? Yeah, I do. It's a white 42-foot motor cruiser, Wandering Lass. It was last seen, we think, in the Roseville area. Copy that. We'll have a look. BKG Sydney Water Police, standing by for Water Police 200. 200, by. We now have a report of shots fired, Roseville Bridge Marina. What's your ETA to that location? Less than a minute. Sake, let me go. No, I don't think so. We're going to Queensland. I'll ditch the boat. And you can get off there. The east coast of Australia is in the bloody Hume Highway. Don't you think they're going to find you? Well, I'm not going back on land. We'll just have to lay low. What, lay low in a cruiser like this? <sighs> listen, listen to me. Listen to me. You'd be better off to dump the boat and dump me. You'd be better off on your own. I'm a liability to you in this uniform anyway. No, I don't think so. I think you might come in very handy. 
to bugger my way out. You never want to give in to you, you know. Yeah, I would count on that. Yeah, all the way. Okay, Helen, thanks. Polly has spotted the cruiser in Middle Harbour. Helen's got the Harpy and the Nemesis on the way to that location now. hesitation in using this. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do, Simons? Shoot the lot of us, eh? Geez, for a clever bloke, you've worked yourself into a bit of a corner, haven't you? Shut up! I've had enough of your talk. Oh, no, mate, you haven't had near enough. You know what you are? You're pathetic. That's what you are. You're like a little schoolboy living out your fantasies, because you haven't got the balls to do it in the real world. You're a dead man, Frank. Like I said, pathetic. Come on, what are you waiting for? You all right? So you've been to see her? Yeah, she's going to be fine. She's got a bit of soft tissue damage to her wrist, a mild concussion, a bit of bruising, that sort of thing. She's a toughie. She yeah, she'll be right. We better get back, eh? See you there. Now I'll have to send some other pommy bastard out to collect them. Thanks, Frank. How's Taylor? Oh, a bit sore. Nothing serious. Right. Right. What's that cooking? I hate to tell you this, Jeff, but it's you. You know, it's just banana leaves, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, all right, sorry. And then uh, you keep the flavour. Hey, someone paid for that. Oh, yeah, I saw said that we can use the money out of the social club kitty. Well, you say something for us, Tommy. I quite like the taste of a hoaxer. <laughs> What'd you put him in for, Dave? Uh, public mischief, stealing, misconduct with regards to corpses. I went there really well. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to digest. Uh, save some for you, Rachel. What, you offering pork to a Jew? No. Not bad. I didn't think I'd taste so good. No. <laughs> Not what I did. <laughs> Did you, um, bring back what's his name? Jack. Yeah, that's right, him. Not yet. You going to? Nah, not much point. Yeah, best to leave the past in the past. Best place for it. For me, anyway, I think. Well, you know, you've saved yourself because, really, old blokes are bastards. 